area of a sector and segment of a circle. So first, let us deal in determining the area of a sector of a circle. The area of a sector of a circle is a portion of a circle which is enclosed between its two radii and the arc adjoining them. So this is what we do call the sector. So it is just like a pizza. So for us to determine the area of this or this sector of our circle, we just simply use the formula. Area of the sector is equal to theta over 2 times r squared, wherein theta is the region measure of our angle, while r represents the radius. So we mean that we do need to convert our degree measure of our angle for us to use this formula. And we use the, for the conversion theta is equal to arc over 180 times pi. So let us see how we apply this formula in determining the area of a sector of a circle. Let's have the first example. So here in our figure on the left side, given the data for our angle measuring 30 degrees, well for our radius, the two measures 5 centimeters. So what could be the area of our sector here? So first, we need to find or to convert our degree measure into a region measure. So using this formula, so we do have here pi, or rather theta, is equal to 30, which is coming from the degree measure of our angle, or our arc, then divided by 180 times pi. Then the next thing is we further simplify 30 over 180, so that gives us theta is equal to 1, 6 pi. Using this information, let us now substitute our region measure to our formula in determining the area of the sector of a circle. So the area of a sector here is equal to the measurement or our region measure which is 1, 6 pi then divided by 2 then times the, com the radius our radius measures 5 centimeters then square. So it is quite similar to the formula under arc length. The difference, we do have over 2 or divided by 2, and we do have raised to 2 on the part of the radius. So now, let us further simplify. First, we divide 1, 6 by 2. So 1 over 6 divided by 2. So that gives us now 1 over 12, pi. Then on the right side, 5 centimeter raised to 2. So that will become now 25 centimeter square. Then further simplify. We multiply 25 centimeters squared to 1, 1 over 12 pi, making our equation transform to 12, 25 over 12 pi centimeters squared. So this will be the measure of our area of the sector here in pi form. So, but if we want to have a more specific uh, area for our sector, so we multiply 25 over 12 to the value of our pi which is 3.14 therefore approximately the area of our sector in this figure is 6.54 centimeters square so that is how we use the formula in finding the area of the sector let's have another example so let's have this another example so what could be the area of our sector here and our figure so using this information so let us now determine so first thing, we need to convert our degree measure of our angle into region measure by using this formula. So substituting the arc part by the degree measure. So we do have here now theta is equal to 150 over 180 pi. We're just simplifying 150 over 180. So our theta or our region measure is 5 over 6 pi. Using these informations that we got, so let us now substitute this to our formula for our area of the sector. So we do have area of the sector equals to our region measure, which is 5 over 6 pi based on our computation conversion. Then V divided by 2, as always, based on the formula, times our radius that do measures 4 centimeters on our data, then square. So the next thing, we further simplify 5 over 6 divided by 2, as well as 4 cm square, making our equation transform into 5 over 12 pi times 16 cm square. The next thing that we do, we multiply 16 cm square 
to 5 over 12 pi, making it as 80 over 12 pi centimeter square. So, since we can further simplify 80 over 12, so let us further simplify this. So, making our area of the sector equals 20 over 3 pi centimeter square. So, in decimal, the area of the sector is approximately 20.93 centimeter square. Another example. So again, for us to determine the area of this sector, this red one, this red area, for us to determine its area, so first, we need to have the data. So since our the measure of our angle is in degree, so we need to convert this to the region measure. So up using this formula, so we'll let us substitute it here. So we do have here now theta is equal to 60, which came from the degree measure of our angle, then divided by 180 pi. Since we can further simplify this, so the region measure that we do have here on our figure is 1 third pi, because 60 over 180 is 1 third. So let us now substitute this data to our formula for the area of the sector. So our area of the sector here is equal to our theta, which is 1 third pi then divided by 2 times the radius our radius this time is 9 centimeters then we square it so just like what we did on the previous we simplify this part which is 1 third divided by 2 as well as 9 centimeters square resulting our equation transform into 1 over 6 pi times 81 centimeters square then we multiply 81 centimeters square, multiply to 1, 6 pi. So that gives us 81 over 6 pi centimeters square. So this can be our answer already in pi form. Since we can't further simplify 81 over 6. But if we want to further simplify it in a decimal, so approximately the area of our sector here in our figure is 42.39 centimeters square. So this is how we use the formula or this is how we determine the area of a sector of a circle. Now, how about in determining the area of a segment of our circle? First, what is a segment of our circle? So here, the pink one that you do see is what we do call the segment of our circle. So it is a region bounded by a chord and the arc some tended by the chord. So the area of a sector minus the triangular piece is that gives us area of a segment. So meaning for us to determine the area of this portion, we just need to find the area of the sector minus the area of a triangle. So that is how we determine the area of a segment. So let's have this example. So let us have this data. And let us determine the area of the segment here. So the pink region. So again, for us to determine the area of a segment, we do need to first find the area of the sector. But since we already had the area of the sector earlier in our previous example, having a 60 degree angle in a 9 centimeter radius, so there's no need for us to recompute for the area of the sector for this one anymore. So what we need to do is to find the area of the triangle. So usually, the formula in finding the area of the triangle is 1 half of base times height. But under this case, so since we will be using a calculator, so let us use this formula in determining the area of a triangle. So it is as simple as 1 half of r, which is the radius square, times sin theta. In this case, the theta is no longer in region measure. So the theta is basically or simply the degree measure of our angle. So since we are already done, determining the area of the segment. So let us now focus in determining the area of the triangle. So using this formula and substituting the data from our to our formula. So we do have now the area of the triangle is equal to 1 half times 9 centimeters. So this is the value or the measurement of our radius times sine 60 See, because we do have a 60 degree angle here. So then we further simplify 9 centimeters square. So this gives us 1 half of 81 centimeters square times sine 60. So we may all put this or encode this to our calculator and then we will get 
the area of the triangle immediately equal to 35.0 cm square. So after we get the area of the triangle, so we the, the next thing that we need to do is to simply subtract this value to the value that we got from the area of our sector. So therefore, the area of our segment will be 42.39 cm square minus 35.0 cm square. So simply getting the difference, so there we, we now state that the area of our segment here, the pink region, is said to be 7.32 cm square. So this is how simple we determine the area of a segment from our figure. Just simply first determine the area of the sector, then be subtracted by the area of the triangle using the formula 1 half times the radius square times sine theta. So hope you understand how to determine the area of the sector as well as determining the area of a segment. So thank you for watching. See you next time. Please like and subscribe.